Should you get a teleprompter or just a phone clamp with a magic arm? This thing is what I'm going to test out in this video. I used to have a teleprompter a while ago while I was in Hong Kong. However, I got rid of it because I didn't use it that much. But also from a test of my own, I found out that it wasn't really that needed. And another thing is there are drawbacks with a teleprompter. Main thing is a lot of them just directly mount to your lens and it can get a little bit heavy, especially if you're trying to put an iPad on it. And like with like also a quite bigger phone, it can also get quite heavy. So it can also damage your lens because of the weight, but also it limits you with certain kinds of lenses that you can use, especially you can't use very wide lenses, especially you can get quite a lot of vignetting with the wider lenses. But with a phone clamp and a magic arm holding my phone above the camera, I can actually get like much wider lenses, especially if I don't need to have such a tight shot. Other pro is that it is a much smaller thing to carry around, but also it's quite easy to build up because it's literally a magic arm and just a phone clamp and everybody have a phone with them and you can get like a free phone app to work with it. I'm now reading from my phone mounted on top of my camera. This is a test to see if it looks like I am reading above the lens or if it still looks like I am looking straight into the lens. I'm now reading from my phone mounted on top of my camera. This test is to see if it looks like I am looking above the lens or if it still looks like I am looking straight into the lens. I am now reading from my phone mounted on top of my camera. This test is to see if it looks like I'm looking above the lens or if it still looks like I am looking straight into the lens. So now doing a test at one meter, you can see that uh, yeah, the eye line is much more looking above the camera and you can see it's not that great. But one, once we go to uh, one and a half meter, it actually doesn't look like that I'm looking into lens. Maybe because of the lighting coming from above, uh, it catches a bit of an eye light that kind of makes it look like I'm looking up, but I still like if you're lighting it more normally, it should be that I am looking straight into the camera. And then of course, from two meters or a little bit further than that, I'm looking mostly into the camera. So. For my test, uh, yeah, most of the time, if you're using a teleprompter, you can't use wide angles anyways. Plus, most of the time, you need to be at least one and a half meters away from the camera to do, use your teleprompter, because otherwise you will see your eyes uh, reading from left to right. If you, yeah, need to have a teleprompter, you might not have to buy it, especially if you have like a phone clamp at home and a magic arm, you can quickly build it up, but also like quickly uh, find these pieces anywhere at any shop without having to spend as much on an actual teleprompter. Hope you found this advice quite useful. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.